I heard this story recently of a receiver that uh, will work fine on the ground, it will work fine when they did the ground range t check, but up in the airplane after flying for a little while it was just failing uh, completely and it took some, some detective work to figure this out but eventually what they did is that they took a hit gun and applied it to the receiver on the ground and lo and behold it stopped working just like it had before. So they concluded that it was overheating and it, and it just couldn't handle the heat. And I'm not surprised to hear about that because a modern receiver, especially 2.4 gigahertz, it's, it's really pretty complicated. It's got some fancy chips in it and there's just a lot of ele fancy electronics and the, the, the biggest enemy of fancy electronics is heat. And, and guess what, you know, in an electric airplane you have a, a two wonderful sources of heat. You know, you have the, of course, the motor up front, but normally that's not an issue because that's out in the, in the slip stream of the air and it's way, well away from everything else. But the other big source of heat is the uh, speed control. And, you know, speed controls, a, a lot of the time, the bottom line with them is just heat dissipation because, the, you know, the, if they start getting hot, that's when they shut down and you know thermal overload and, and all of that and bad things happen. So so they have these big heat sinks that are trying to dis dissipate the heat. Well, guess what? You know if you have this peak control near your receiver, the receiver is going to be the victim of all that excess heat. So you don't want that. And one of the lessons that this pilot learned is not to wrap the receiver in foam because you know you wrap it in foam. That just, that just helps contain all the heat in, in there, so there's no cooling airflow. And you know, he figured out some other way of mounting it without, without the foam. So anyway, um, be aware of the heat in the airplane, especially from the speed control. Have some cooling airflow through the airplane and treat your receivers well and they'll treat you well too.